martial arts fighter there's two people that you should see fight in two different places anderson silva in brazil and george st pierre in montreal because you really don't know what a crowd can sound like so you hear 22,000 people lose their minds like right now and george steps into the arena take your headphones off man listen to this just a thunderous roar from GSP, who is so popular, not just in his home province, but the entire country of Canada, that in 2010, when the Canadians won the, won the Olympic gold medal in Vancouver, and Sidney Crosby scored the game-winning goal, George St. Pierre was named Canadian Athlete of the Year. You know why? Because he can kick all those dudes' asses. That's a great point. <laughs> George St. Pierre, is, he's not just a great fighter, he's a great martial artist, and that's one of the most honorable and, and admirable aspects of who George is. He's constantly improving himself in martial arts. He is a true martial artist. When he is not training for a fight, he's training his skills, he's training his character, and he embodies and epitomizes the mindset of the true martial artist, the true Budo mindset. He took this time to help clear his mind and heal his body as he steps into the United States Marine Corps prep point. GSP in the prep point. Go to UFC.com slash Marines to see what happens when elite UFC fighters meet elite war fighters. And we have two of the most elite UFC fighters ready to battle it out for the undisputed welterweight title. And he's brought John Donaher in his corner to handle his main coaching aspects, which I think is a great move. John Donaher is one of the most brilliant guys in martial arts arts and a fantastic Brazilian jiu-jitsu instructor along with you see Phil Nurse behind him who's an excellent Muay Thai trainer and of course Faraz Sahabi who has been his main trainer for years now. Donaher a fourth degree black belt and you'll love this quote from John Donaher. Brazilian jiu-jitsu is a chess match with pieces of your body on the line. That's <laughs> that's a perfect way of yeah, it is, right? Donaher's a brilliant guy and a brilliant tactician to have in the corner because he has a very intelligent, tactical, no-nonsense approach to the action. The champion, George Rush St. Pierre! Look at how big he is. Look at the legs. Yeah, he's done a lot no of strength question. and conditioning and a lot of gymnastics in preparation for this. And he, he believes that that has made him a much better fighter and that having this time off because of the injury has actually made him better. Made him focus on different aspects of his physicality. Carlos Condit has never been more ready for a fight. He's going to try to knock off the champion tonight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening, is brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. Carlos Condit calls himself the challenger. He is 28. The French-Canadian is 31. The reach is identical, although Condit, the taller fighter. 